Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review a new ROM called Superior OS. Yes, you get the idea from the wallpaper itself. It's a good wallpaper actually. Let's start the review by taking a look at uh, about phone section. So let's go to the Android version. And as you can see over here, this is the unofficial version of Superior OS. And the Android version is 12. Now um, coming down, as you can see, the kernel, the default kernel, the ROM uses is 4.9.297 unit tricks. Uh, one more thing is, I'm using the GApps version of the ROM. Well, um, to talk to you about some words, superior about superior OS. Superior OS is famous for its smoothness. As you can see from the screen record itself, the quick settings launches very smoothly. So that's really great. As you can see that they have kept the stock or the, the default um, layout for Quick settings. What you get is, you get an automatic brightness button over here, which is kind of useful and that's even great. Now as you can see from the app drawer itself, apart from the YouTube and Magisk, um, all apps, they come with the um, GApps version. So basically it's not a bloated version of GApps version. You get Gmail, maps, photos, oh, I mean useful stuff, they are not bloated. So let us go to the settings page and look at what all customization does the ROM offer. So if you need customization with uh, superior, take go to settings and take uh, superior goodies. So the first thing that you will notice is the superior settings is similar to what we had in Android 10. For Android 11, they have changed the superior settings user interface, but this is really cool and um, the ROM do offer some useful basic customization. So let us take a look at what all customization does the ROM offer to us. First one is Monet customization. If you don't like to use the wallpaper colors, you can definitely enable custom color and uh, apply the color of your choice. So that is pretty much good. And you get an option with many fonts, not many, but you get some uh, fonts to use. So that's also really cool. These are the fonts that you get. Right now I'm using Google Sans, doesn't make much difference. And icon pike, you get just one icon pike, maybe it's work in progress. Uh, icon shape default is only what you get. Then the second thing is status bar. You can customize status bar icons as per your wish. Then volite icon is over here. Battery styles. You get some battery styles and you get an option to where to display the battery percentage. Then traffic indicator is being given over here with some customization too. So you can select the activity type. Let's come back and uh, go to quick settings and let's see what all things does this offer. As you can see that the uh, the seat bar used in this particular ROM is custom. So that's wonderful seat bar that they are using. So these all are the options that you get where you want to arrange your quick settings brightness slider and if you wish to show the adaptive brightness button blah blah blah. And buttons, you just get this much amount of customization not so many customization that you get navigation bar you get an option to customize the navigation bar whether you need the three button or two button let's come back and gestures you get these type of gestures like um, if you want to quickly open the camera one handed mode and uh, stuff like that so um, swipe to screenshot double tap to sleep double tap to sleep on the status bar then low screen you get an option I mean there isn't much options with each and every customization I believe they are trying to add it so these all are the options that you get with the power menu pretty much standard standard options you get even with notification you get few options but yeah standard miscellaneous is empty so these all are the customization features of superior OS so let me show you the battery usage because I have been using this ROM for pretty much 
I mean like um, 7 or 8 hours so let me show you the battery graph so you will get an understand you will understand how good it is it's really good I mean even superior superior uh, Android version 10 and 11 were good with the battery bike I mean yes I do agree with the fact that uh, um, battery usage vary from user to user so really we cannot make any judgment but as far as I see it is it has done pretty much good then we get wallpaper and style and you get an option for the themed icon too so it's even applying so that's also really great and if you wish to change the wallpaper you will just get the on device wallpaper and if you I mean you are not going to get the default pixel wallpapers so that's a bit drawback let's go to system and see if we can find further um, customization now we don't have any more customization here uh, sounds you get the Pikachu sound for notification and the default phone ringing tone for your superior so superior uses bit different uh, ringtone and uh, uh, notification sound so that's also really wonderful like and as you can see that they use custom seek bar which is also really good so what are what is my final verdict about the ROM the ROM is really good to use our friend Aditya has compiled the ROM for Redmi Note 5 plus wins it's a really wonderful ROM and um, if you wish to use it as a daily driver, it definitely you can use it as a daily driver. There is nothing wrong with it. It's really smooth and it's really good. And as you can see that it do also provide you with a very decent battery backup. So if you are looking for a good ROM with nice customization and with good battery backup, definitely you can consider superior OS. Many thanks for watching the video and please do make sure one thing if you haven't subscribed to Let's Talk by George please make sure you do so and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates.